This is KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guests today are from Corral Midwest. Dr. Brad Barrett, who is the director of the Corral. Brad, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. And our very own Bob Stewart, KCCK morning announcer, who's a member of uh, Corral Midwest. Uh, You have uh, several events coming up this spring, but most notably coming up this weekend is a uh, concert seeking peace in music. Tell me a little bit about uh, how you programmed this, Brad. Well, given the extreme, what I think the extreme divisiveness in our in our country today, peace should be the number one thing that we should try to be seeking, and uh, and and instead of dividing our our people, we should be joining together as one, and that's really what drove my decision in altering the 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 theme for this spring concert. Uh, religious peace, human human peace, uh, from various different cultures. And what is on the program? We're starting with uh, Cantate Domino uh, by John Rutter, uh, which is a very celebratory, hev- heavily festive, very difficult uh, uh, work, followed by um, Seeking Peace uh, in the uh, in the Christian world, the Lux Eterna by Edwin Fissinger. Uh, this is where at the end of the Requiem Mass, uh, we, we present the body uh, to eternal rest and eternal peace. And so that, that, that set uh, kind of encapsulates that whole idea of eternal peace. Uh, then we, we go to uh, the chamber singers will be doing a set, um, the Ascendance Days Ascending into Heavenly Peace. Uh, the Ascendance uh, uh, Deus, and then the Hebrew version of peace, the Shalom uh, Jerusalem, uh, which is a new piece that's out, uh, very div- uh, lots of parts. Uh, men are divided several ways, and the women's voices are divided several ways. <laughs> See, we're seeking unity and peace, but you're dividing everybody even further. <laughs> well, if you'll let me finish. <laughs> I would, I would say, but it, it, that juxtapositioning of that, that divided design texture of that piece creates this wonderful, wonderful tonality. And uh, this is the chamber choir this piece. Is chamber yeah, so singer. that's a smaller group. That is a uh, highly select group of 30-plus singers. Yeah, so you know, Corral Midwest is a select group to start with. And uh, this is an even more select group. And, Bob, you're a part of both, yes? Mm-hmm. And uh, so, so now, after you've heard Brad describe these pieces uh and he said they're pretty hard are they hard uh yeah they're challenging which is what we like mm-hmm. you know so as a you know as a director and as a member of the chorus i know that as a uh you know like in the orchestra or you know or jazz band you know when you get uh new pieces you know it's it's incumbent on the you know on the player to really come to to practice on their own and you know and then read through them and uh, you know, but that's one thing that's a little bit easier for an instrumental player to play their part and learn it than, you know, than a singer sometimes. You know, if you don't play the piano, it might be difficult sure. to, you know, to rehearse on your own. So, uh, you know, tell me how you how you prepare for something well, like that. Well, a lot, of, a lot a of the pieces, Bob. a lot of the pieces we actually get listening, we can listen to, to, to things oh, that sure. he sends oh, along. Yeah. I mean, just not this is how we're going to do it, but here are the notes and you can kind of work on it your own. So that's a very valuable thing. And there's also a, a thing we're doing the 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 uh, um, with the with the orchestra, the Brahms. The Brahms later on. There's actually a thing where you can go and and it you can actually picture part out and you can play it along. And oh really? So it's, yeah, yeah. Oh. So it's very. So it's there are about, ways. It's all about technology. But then working, you know, rehearsing just once a week. It's it's pretty important that you know individual people kind of go on their own and and do this and learn you, this. You've got to do the work outside, right? Because absolutely. You because. Brad, you're not in, you're not interested in teaching notes when you when you get to the main rehearsal. I would rather lay out in the road and let a Mack truck hit me than teach notes. Wow. But that's the joy of this group. They are very driven. They're very intelligent musically, uh, and they have they take great pride that they do this this caliber of music, and they they like to bring it uh, an advancement of that music every rehearsal. And they have the majority of the folk have to have studied this on their own. There's one couple that I think they study their music as a couple every day. (laughs) 
and uh, and it speaks well because those type of people come prepared. They never miss rehearsal. Uh, it's that type of commitment that you don't get from oftentimes do not get from a community group. This year we were as we all have been impacted by the the weather, and it seems oh, like cut down on rehearsal time. Mm, I'm sure it seems like the weather happened to be coming in on the weekend, <laughs> uh, and so we missed a couple very valuable, crucial rehearsals. But as of last night, I think we we have caught ourselves up. We are really close to having this concert to be um, like the rest of ours, very high caliber, uh, a great uh, opportunity to experience choral music from the audience standpoint and of course you're going to be performing this choral music in one of the great spaces mm. to hear choral music exactly we are so fortunate that that we have uh, sacred churches venues in town that lend itself to choral music because we do not normal we do not have a facility in this city that really is conducive for cor for choral singing uh, to get that that ambient sound and uh, but through Immaculate Conception, St. Pat's, uh, they've just been so gracious to open their doors and let us be there. So this will be this concert will be presented twice at Immaculate Conception Church in Cedar Rapids, Saturday afternoon and Sunday evening. Is that what she said? That is correct. So what are the what are the concert times? Two thirty on Saturday, seven thirty on Sunday. But I'd also like to add um, because you didn't let me finish, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> I would. It, it will feature all of our choral ensembles, and it will feature the chamber singers, as mentioned, the big choir. Then we have a pro musical women's ensemble, and they will be doing a whole nature set. Uh, so it's really not only uh, uh, peace with man, but peace with nature. And we've drawn that that uh, coordination between those two very special topics. And then we have a newly formed group called the Bro Musica, which is all men, and uh, they will be they will be singing a two a two pieces, and then our vocal jazz ensemble will also be singing uh, two numbers on this concert as well. Okay, so it is a, uh, it's it's everybody, and that's even you've got a vocal jazz concert, which is just vocal jazz, which is coming up as well. That, that is happening on May seventeenth in the Whipple Auditorium, in our in our great library downtown. And it'll be at seven thirty in that in that great auditorium there, and the and it's Karamid West's turn to perform with Orchestra Iowa as a part of the spring concert, and that's a big piece too. If if a person was if a choral person um, were to be asked what were the top five major choral works of all time, uh, the Brahms Requiem would be one of them, and then two years ago we did the and the other would be the Bach B minor Mass. And uh, we did that with, we were fortunate to collaborate with Orchestra Iowa two years ago, uh, mounting that work. Uh, the Brahms is, is, a, is truly a, a requiem for the common man, as it was intended. So it's Corral Midwest in concert this weekend, this Saturday and Sunday at Immaculate Conception Church, and then appearing with Orchestra Iowa, and then your vocal jazz concert coming up in May also. Uh, there's a website where people can find out more about all this stuff, right? And tickets will be available at the door. Okay. Um, we really want this to be a special event. CorralMidwest.org. All right, great. Thanks so much for being here, and uh, have fun this weekend. Thank you, Dennis. Thanks, Dennis. You can hear the Culture Crawl live on the radio most Thursdays and Fridays at 1020, or uh, watch the podcast at on your own schedule using your favorite podcast app or at KCCKB.